Welcome to this quick trick and tutorial. I'm going to show you a routine that's quick and simple. If you're looking for something that's, that's dynamic and direct and you don't have to hang around too long, this is the one. This is called Predictor Card. Yeah, I know the title's a little bit cheesy, but you get the idea. My prediction is in view all the time. It's in this small little wallet here which I leave in front of the spectator throughout the performance. That's all you need, just a single prediction card. Then you say to the audience, on my way here, I had this premonition, I decided instead of writing it down, I'll take a card and put it in my wallet. And there it is there. You introduce the cards uh, and you can ask them, you can actually shuffle the cards if you wish, it's not really a requirement. You ask them to call stop or point to a card, uh, they can have a card. They do get a free choice, they can go through and change their mind. It makes no difference, they really do have a free choice. I'm going to take the card, and because they haven't seen this card, there's no influence on that. I'm going to take this and insert it in here, so my prediction card is in there with your card. I'm going to leave that there in isolation. We'll come back to that in just a moment. Now the cards themselves, I just want to prove that they are just regular because it has been known for magicians to cheat. Mm -hmm. uh, but they are just 52 regular cards. You could have had any. In fact, you did change your mind throughout the uh, trick. But they are just all blue back cards and you could have had any of these to choose from. Let's take a look at the card that you selected freely. Okay, and you can see, uh, let's have a look. Okay, won't win you any games of poker, but it's not a bad card. The five of clubs is what you've chosen. That was a free choice. I couldn't have known that, surely. But in my wallet is this one individual card. Let me turn that over. That looks a perfect match to me. Let me just remove this. You can see that the envelope is empty. I'll even go through there. But here we have an exact duplicate of your card. A perfect prediction. Two minds as one. Now the tutorial for this particular effect is going to be quick and simple because there is absolutely nothing to this. As a magician, you've probably already got a pack of these cards sitting around in your magic drawer or your magic case. I've had these for years and I found these. These were from another trick. And as soon as I mention rough and smooth, I'm sure you've worked it out. This is a rough and smooth deck. Um, they look normal, blue back cards, but in fact, there's only 26 blue back cards but there's also 26 red back cards. And the way this works is you'll see you've got a pair of cards. Here I've got the six of diamonds, six of diamonds, one red, one blue. If I put these together, because of the way rough and smooth works, a bit of pressure on there, you don't see the red back card. Less pressure and they spread. And that's how the trick works. So if you've got a pack of these kicking around, they just need to be in pairs. Or you can make this, and there is another video that I put a link to that shows you how to make your own rough and smooth very cheaply. Now, here is the cards. So this part's obvious. They do have a free choice of any card. So if they picked this one, which is the eight of hearts, if I just spread those, there you can see. Now the thing that I like about this over other type of prediction effects is this wallet. Now this took me literally less than 20 minutes to make this morning and the, in the description below the video there is a link to this free template on there. So you can download it, it's got a template, you print this out, cut it out, fold it and glue it and uh, it's, there's some instructions on there as well. And you can make your own little wallet. Inside here is the, the card, the prediction card. Now, what I like about this is the optical illusion of the fact that, first of all, a card cannot fit 
in here all the way down. So this is why when you reveal the prediction effect that it does look empty and there's no suspicion falling on here because you can't hide a playing card down here or in a corner like you can a wooden box. So it all seems very clean. All you do is once you've made up this using the template, uh, use any kind of card or paper, get a playing card and what you would do is push an old playing card in. Now what I do is I trim off the bottom part there. You'll see that I've trimmed off the white bit down there. That means that when this goes in, it doesn't stick above the top. Once you've done that, push it in, get a pencil, draw a line around the cutout window, pull this out, cut out a hole slightly bigger. So just enlarge it just a fraction like this. So I've now got this cutout hole here. What you've got to make sure is that when it's like that, is that you're not revealing the cutout there. So with it like this, on there. Now when they choose a card, they're stuck together, you push this in, this will go down automatically or you can just put your finger on there and just hold it and as you push this in, I tend to use my fingers here just to push that fake card down like that and you can even grip it there if you don't trust it not staying in there. You can just put your finger there as you pull these out. Now what I tend to do is once I've done that I kind of separate the two cards a little bit and leave that on full view. Now at this point because the audience don't know what to expect next there's nothing odd about this. Now the reason I went back to the cards to give me a bit of time delay from revealing this. Why? Because if I was to push their chosen card in and then pull it straight out and say, well, look at this, it matches, people would ask the question, well, why did you push the blue back card in in the first place? So by doing this, I said, I'll isolate those so we can't change them. I then come to the cards and then started to show them the cards here. Okay. And that was just to give me a bit of a delay until I then said, let's remove your card and you just pull out this one, the Eight of Hearts. They see this one here. I tend to flip it over and then you can just pull this out. I've never had anyone ask to check this. They just see that a card can't be hidden in there. It's a great little effect. Um, it's one of the first tricks I learned probably in 1970, 71, and I still perform it. And I hadn't performed it for many years, so I quickly made it up. As I said, it took about 20 minutes and performed it to my kids and some of their friends that were around. And they loved it. It's quick, direct and simple. Enjoy.